All right, let's simplify yeah. this. And the first step for this is to distribute these in because they're different. So what's the, what's the base of that exponent, negative 3? x to the negative 2, and also y. So I have to distribute it in. And remember the rule for this. It's simplest if you remember the rule, which is when you have a power, sorry, if you're raising a power to a power, you multiply. you multiply the exponents together. It's a to the bc. That's your formula. So this equals x to the positive 6, y to the negative 3. Do the same thing with the 4 on the bottom. So that would become x to the positive 8, y to the negative 4. Now I have to deal with the x's and the y's. And again, the easiest way, if you can see it, is to recognize, hey, there's six x's on the top. x, 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 x. And there's eight on the bottom. So when I cancel all these x's, how many am I going to have left over? Two. Two on the bottom. So this equals x squared is going to be on the bottom. And these negatives right here, I really, what I need to do is flip them because they're both negative. So I like to put boxes around. That and that both flip to the opposite side of the fraction bar. So that turns into, I'll do the little side work over here, y to the fourth over y to the third is what I'm going to have. But now do the same thing. How many y's do you have on the top and how many on the bottom? You have four on the top, three on the bottom. So again, I'm not, you don't do this every time, but I'm helping you think through it. That's really what's happening. And you have one left on the top. So that's your answer.